So, so I, I brought a few things in. I thought I'd bring a few little toys in. Um, this one is um, very precious to me. This is my Amiga 600, shop soiled Amiga 600 from um, uh, bought in Lewis's in Leeds in Christmas of 1992 for 199 pounds. Um, and yeah, it's got uh, uh, RAM expansion in the back, so two, two megabytes of chip RAM. Um, and yeah, I, I, I learned to program 68,000 assembler on this. I couldn't afford any other tools. I, I couldn't afford any high level languages. The cheapest tool you could buy to program this thing. So unlike the Beep, this doesn't come with the tools built in, right? Um, but I, um, I bought a copy of DevPack 2, which was 25 quid. And that's the cheapest dev tool you can get. So all I, I have only ever programmed the BBC Micro in, uh, uh, in uh, no, Commodore Amiga rather, in, well, the BBC Micro did a bit of 6502, but mostly basic. This one, no basic at all. So only 68,000, um, just endless computer games written in, uh, written in 68,000, trying to debug, uh, trying to debug things when things went wrong. But yeah, it was good fun. Anyway, so that's my Amiga 600. I don't have my BBC Micro because I sold my BBC Micro for 75 pounds to somebody to buy the manuals for this machine. So I bought the ROM kernel manuals for this machine using the money from my BBC Micro, which is why I had to borrow a BBC from you the other year. Um, so that's that. Uh, what else have we got? Well, you've seen the, the 2006. That's the 2006 Raspberry Pi that I showed you earlier. And I've got one more thing with me, which is these things are notebooks that I, um, let's see if I can find some stuff in here. So these, um, my mother's family are from Pontypool in South Wales, um, fairly near where we build Raspberry Pi now. Uh, and there was a chain of, um, there's a chain of shops, uh, sort of, well, it was a chain of, sort of pound land type shops called Hyper Value. Um, and they used to sell, among other things, um, uh, very cheap squared paper books. And I bought three cheap squared paper books, filled them completely, and then I went back and bought another 10. And this is from the batch of 10. And what you have in these are, is a record of a load of stuff I did, going back as, about as far as when I was 14, when I first got my Amiga, and this probably looks fairly familiar. Um, in the little gap between buying my Amiga and being able to afford the tools for it, I had a copy of Lemmings, and I used to trace the Lemmings, and these actually got, you can see Lemmings there, and then you can see this is, this is a walk cycle for a Lemming, and this is the, the cycle broken down into the green bits, into the various different colored bits of Lemming. And then down the side here, written, we have the numbers for, um, the, the, uh, for a VDU23 command to make um, custom characters. So this was actually to run on, it's a version of Lemmings that I wrote to run on an RM Nimbus PC-106, which I see you have one in the corner, um, in, on BBC Basic 86. And I wrote this and, uh, you know, for, my friends at, uh, for my friends at school. So these, the nice thing about these books is they go all the way back that far to when I was 14. But they also have, these have sat around in my house um, my whole life. And these are the only two that I still have left. Um, and they have everything from sort of A-level maths and stuff to... Um, fairly recent things, um, fairly recent things more in this one, uh, where I, even as recently as a decade ago, I was picking these books up and jotting stuff down in them. Um, and we have, where are we? It's in here somewhere. Oh, there we are, and the page is all cut apart. That is the video display timings for this. So that's, that's my, uh, that's my working out how we're going to do video, the video address generation. Um, the, the challenge with video address generation on this is you have uh, an 8-bit microcontroller, so you can only change um, 8 bits of address bus at any given time. But if you want a 320 pixel wide screen, there's going to be one point where you count 0FE, 0FF, 100. So you have to change 9 bits. And so how do you change 9 bits in instantaneously on an 8-bit microcontroller? And that's, that's how you do it. So. Anyway, so these have been, these have lived with me, and I'm sure that probably by the time I die, I will have filled these up with, uh, with, with, with more stuff. But um, uh, yeah, it's funny that these have, these have gone a long way with me. But been a busy 25 years. Huh? Cool.